Well, let's get conversations off the road by answering last week's trivia question. But you know, I never do it alone. Always do it with my partner in crime. You know him as the ultimate heavyweight of the airwaves. Brian Mufageng does join me. How are you doing? I'm all good. I'm all good. Yeah? I'm excited. It's Easter weekend, so. You know what? On Thursday, I watched, I mean, on Tuesday. I watched, I watched the first game on Thursday. Yeah. And I watched the second game on Tuesday. Boy, oh boy, yeah. what matches did we experience? In and the we'll last get week? into it, right? We'll oh. get into it. But first, matters first. Yeah. The trivia question from last week. We asked you at home. We said, which country has the most CAP club competition titles since the inception of CAP in the year 1957? I can tell you one thing. Most people actually got the country right. Yes. It was just a number. Because because you think in Confederations Cup, yeah. Champions League, the other Super Cups. It's clubs. a lot to bring in. It's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. to bring in. 42 in total. There's a title for the Egyptians. Yeah. For the Egyptian clubs across from Zamalek to Al Ali. All of them have collected a total of 42 trophies in mm. KF club competitions. You also talk then about the two that are joined second. It is Tunisians as well as Moroccan clubs. Also, you know, in 24 respectively. Mm -hmm. All righty. There you have it. Egypt, if you did get it right, that is absolutely correct. And with the numbers that Brian gave you now, I'm bad at maths, so I'm not going to try to <laughs> recite the numbers. So I'm going to leave it at that. But I'm going to give you this week's trivia question, which is another one that we have in store for you. This one is fairly simple. In fact, I walked in here and I was like, is the answer not this? Yeah. <laughs> We want to know from you, in what year was the African Cup of Nations expanded to 24 teams? Send three answers on all social media platforms. Use the hashtag. It's hashtag FootAfreak. Let us know what you think. Let us know what it is that you know. And even if there's a trivia question that you want us to put onto the show, oh, yeah. send it to us yeah. and we will make it as part of the show. First things first, I want to have the conversation about the FIFA series, Brian. Um, the FIFA series is currently in its pilot phase. We do yeah. know that South Africa is competing within this pilot phase but do you not feel that we have missed an opportunity to rally behind our national team obviously yesteryear it was said or well, Bafana did say themselves that they think they'll do better if the nation just backed them yeah. they went to the Africa Cup of Nations they got a bronze medal and there it was that spirit revitalized yet again everyone was excited about them True. but now they're playing in the FIFA series and let me tell you I've gone to the timeline and I'm like I don't think people know about this there are two things that you're missing. One, let's, let's, I, mean, I think the first one, let's just forget about the time issue because we've watched matches very late. I mean, if you remember when you're talking about uh, the, uh, the World Cup matches that were played in Australia and New Zealand. I was about those, to say those the playing World the wee Cup. hours Absolutely. of the morning and we all watched them. But I just believe that the marketing side was not actually on point. Yeah. I think the Football Association in South Africa actually used this to say, let's rally behind Bafana. They're playing in a FIFA series and explain why the FIFA series is happening. Yeah. We in the media also dropped the ball because you never really explained why are we playing in Andorra, for an example. Mm. Why do you have uh, some countries, Vatuato, playing in this tournament as well? But that's because people yeah. don't even know that this is the FIFA series. They just thought that these were international friendlies that were prepared, correct? You know, I mean, Vanuatu. Do you know anything about Vanuatu? Mm, not, a, not a chance. I only found <laughs> out about Andorra. May I say, and I'm going to be brutally honest, yeah? I didn't even know about Andorra. Until we played them, and I was like, oh, this is who Andorra is. Andorra is actually a place. I always thought Putan was some food until I actually <laughs> found it actually a country. So this is what the FIFA, this is what the FIFA series is supposed to be all yeah. about. And I think if we actually spend more time explaining why they have to play these matches, mm -hmm. building up to the qualifiers that are coming up in June, people have actually been able to come out and support yeah. more. And also, instead of us spending more time giving more of the negative side of things to say, Oh, without Sunland's players, we don't have a team. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. We should have focused to say we have players that have been called up for national duty. All those players have you supported equally. Because and others made their debut when they managed to secure that draw against Andorra. Yeah, I mean, That's I mean, emphatic. Mukwana, Mukwana joined a few players who will be able to do it. Score on debut. Yeah. I mean, he had a wonderful game against Andorra. He scored a beautiful goal. Monare had two assists in those two matches, by the way. I, I want Apollos to do the same for Banyana when she does get her opportunity um, from the Hollywood Best Super League. Tana. 
<laughs> oh, Tanya Hollis, Tanya yeah, Hollis, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. We look forward to see when she does eventually to get into yeah. the into the Banyana fold. I think you will have a conversation later on today because some good news from Banyana as well. Another player been signed overseas. So I think I think for me where we are, where I'm sitting, we missed a point. We yeah. missed a huge opportunity to galvanize support for Bafana going forward. Yeah. Not only Bafana but also just national teams holistically because Absolutely. the under 20s are also going to get involved in the Afcon qualifiers. They're going to have uh, some. Uh, 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 at the moment, they're sitting in camp, yeah. preparing for those and also selection process taking mm. place. Because the more we get vested mm. in finding out more about our players, mm. the more we can be able to have these discussions openly Absolutely. and honestly as well. Absolutely. Because we will know what you're talking about. We won't just say, ah, oh, because it's coming from sundowns, mm. I'm not going to really talk about it. Yeah. But we're going to talk about what the player delivers and gives on a field of play. Yeah. We talk about what happens on the continent. It is exactly what is happening. Yeah. Mokwana played now in a Kev Confederations Cup. Look at how he's actually grown as a player. Yeah. He's looking far, far better. Looking very good. Yeah. Looked absolutely brilliant in the two matches he came in. Yeah. Started in the first one, came into the South in the second game. Looked brilliant. But Algeria, boy, oh boy, we missed that Algeria in the we two hour tournament. We absolutely did. This is a completely different Algeria. Oh. And on my head, I'm just like, could this be because of the speculations that we were hearing in Tunisian? Yeah. <laughs> you know, did that, um, um, the articles that came out, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. speculating yeah. that Hugo Bush could be leaving us. And I was just like, could it be that? Um, is South Africa affected? But the way in which we were able to fight back, yeah. you've got to give it to them. You know, one thing, we always talk about Tembazwani. I don't think we're giving that man his flowers. Timbers, uh, he's something else. <laughs> I want you to hold the, thing. the goals he scored. I mean, Absolutely. the second goal for me was out of this world. Absolutely. I watched this over and over. I've seen him score goals. Yeah. He's a right footed player. Yeah. But the way he bent that ball to the far post with his left foot was something else. Well, it's something else. And she drops the shoulder. You know that he's onto something. Make sure that you go nowhere. There's so much I want to talk about today, but I'll try to squeeze it in when we come back.